I feel like we've been talking about the iPhone 13 for literally all eternity, but guess what? Come next Tuesday, September 14th, we will be doing a lot less talking about what could be with the new iPhone and a lot more about what actually is going to happen with the iPhone 13 as Apple takes to the virtual stage. The event invite highlights the tagline, California streaming. And just like we do every year, we all go crazy and try to figure out what it could mean or what the image could mean and what it could be in reference to. And just what I want everyone to do right now is pause this video and down in the comments, give me your best guess on what you think this means for the Apple event. And maybe don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of our coverage coming next week and beyond. And so we assume this event will be the announcement of the next generation iPhone, presumably called the iPhone 13, as well as the Apple Watch Series 7. And so here's what we can expect to see Apple talk about at next week's California streaming event. So the next gen iPhone, again, is going to be the main star of the show. And we are expecting the same four sizes from last year as Apple is planning to release a 5.4 inch iPhone 13 mini, a 6.1 inch iPhone 13, a 6.1 inch iPhone 13 Pro, and a 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. The general design will of course be the same, but we are expecting a smaller notch. There will also be some improvements to the cameras, the rear cameras especially, with Apple bringing sensor shift optical image stabilization to the whole iPhone 13 lineup this year, introducing a better ultra wide camera for the Pro models and improving the cameras of the iPhone 13 Pro to bring it in line with the Pro Max. We can also expect to see an A15 chip, so a extremely fast processor, a faster 5G technology, and perhaps one of the bigger changes is a 100 120 hertz ProMotion display. This is something that you would see on the new iPad Pros, and I would love to see that on the new iPhone. There have also been some rumors about an always on display. And honestly, if I wanna get crazy here, looking at this video that was put out by Apple PR, the clock here, that little glow in the background and the kind of glow all together, if I was really gonna to try to read into things, that looks like the glow of what it could be for a potential always on display. Now I know that's a stretch, but, I guess we'll find out next week. As for the Apple Watch Series 7, we are expecting the first redesign that we've seen in quite a few years here. The new Apple Watch could have a flat edge design that kind of better matches the iPhone and iPads, and it could be thinner with more available display space. A new lamination technique will bring the display closer to the front cover, and casing sizes are expected to increase from 40 to 41 and 44 to 45 millimeters. And there's gonna be a faster S7 chip, which is always gonna happen with these kind of upgrades each year. And there could be a bigger battery, which is great because there's a lot more room now in this Apple Watch by reducing some of the other footprints. But we are expecting no new health sensors, at least for this year. There could also be some other unreleased products that we are expecting to see, uh, like the third generation AirPods. And that's gonna have a very similar design of the AirPods Pro, but will most likely be without active noise cancellation and transparency modes in order to make them more affordable. These also might be kind of a long shot for this event. However, if we wanna play into this whole streaming narrative that seems to be portrayed in the tagline of the event invite, then maybe a new set of AirPods for streaming music could be a possibility. Of course, California streaming could be in relation to Apple's plans to stream this fall event live on its website and on the Apple TV. And for those unable to watch, MacRumors will be providing full event coverage both on macrumors.com and the MacRumors Live Twitter account. And uh, we'll be having a full breakdown of the event on the YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss all of that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.